another World of Tanks video here with Chain Reaction. And we are going to have a look at the beautiful PZ-3 new German medium tank from the 1.9 update that happened recently for World of Tanks Blitz. I'm really close to getting the next tank. And just to let you guys know, this is the best gun slash turret for this tank. It is a 5 centimeter KWK 39L slash 60. Uh, let's look at the stats a bit here. 20% protection. That is actually crap. Firepower, 29%. Not too shabby. Show effectiveness, 45%. That's really good, actually. Maneuverability, 75%. That's where it gets really good. The hit points on this beast is 560. Very good for medium. Front Frontal armor, 70. Sides, 30. Rear, 50. That is actually really weird. The sides on this thing is the weakest. Normally, it's the rear on most tanks. Turret armor, front turret armor, 57. Sides, 30. Rear, 30. Sounds pretty average. Uh, no one cares about the weight or engine power. Speed limit, 64 kilometers an hour. Yes, guys, you heard that correctly. 64. That is amazing. Traverse speed, 45. Also quite good. Turret traverse speed, 44. Standard shell damage, 52 to 87. That, that, yeah, that's just bad. Standard shell penetration, 50 to 84. That's actually really good, considering the, um... It's 5 centimeter gun. Rate of fire, 17.14. That is actually really good for a tank. Even a light tank or any tank, to be honest. That is actually very fast reloading. Aiming time, 1.9. That's not too bad. Dispersion, 0 0.35. View range, 240. That is actually very good statistics in my opinion you can pause the screen if you want to look at these more detailed statistics i don't know if you want to or not but i'm not going to read those out and i am close to getting the next tank but let's just get right into the battle i'm going to be speaking to you guys about the weaknesses on this tank the strong points on this tank you know all that good stuff and yeah looks like i'm pretty high in this battle Good thing I don't have to go against any Matildas because I can't penetrate those, to be honest. No one can really penetrate those at tier 4. Only tier 5s can, you know, yeah. And I am going to go to my favorite sniping spot on this map. Is actually not towards the windmill, which is actually kind of surprising. That's where most people go to snipe. But I go to this little bush up here. I'm heading straight for it. And, yeah, you can obviously see that this tank is very fast. It just sped up from 0 to 60 extremely fast. And, yeah. M3 light. Try to get him. Yes, I got 70 damage to him. Someone is shooting me. I'm gonna have to back down here, guys. I don't know what's shooting me, actually, which is kind of worrying. I'm just gonna go after this M3 light. I almost have- I'm almost dead. My hit points are horrible right now. Have no idea why. Oh, there's a sniper in the hills there. Yeah, the weak point about this tank is slugging- you you have to hide at all times or else you're going to die very quick. And this engine, the ammo racks are very, very easy to make catch on fire with this tank. But the strong point on this tank is its maneuverability, but that's because of the lack of armor. And I'm not complaining, actually. Try to get this BT-7... And it looks like I died. That actually really sucks, guys. Well, I do do these videos live, so I can't get the best footage without taking hours per video. I am just gonna go ahead and 
play a bit in my other German tank, this light tank. Maybe try to do some stunt jumps for you guys. Uh, I am going to be talking a bit more about the tank guys just playing in. You're never going to get like all the kills or all the damage with this tank. It's very easy to get experience with the tank guys just in the PZ3. Even if you don't get a lot of damage and stuff, but you die extremely quickly. That was actually my 8th attempt for the this review. And I that's the longest I've lasted in a game with that PZ3, so you do die extremely quickly. That's the drawback. But I think it's worth it, because it is actually a pretty fun tank. And yeah... If you guys want me to review different, more medium tanks in the new line, please tell me, or other tanks, whatever, you know, just give me feedback, to be honest. I really need the feedback. And yeah. Let's just take out this M3 Lee. Try to, anyway. Wow, I actually got damage to it. How did I get a deflect? How did I deflect one of his shots? I'm in a light tank. That is really sad, actually. Yeah, the PZ3A is right before the tank I w I'm reviewing in this. And it is actually very fast reload as well. All the tanks in this line actually have very fast reload. So you better watch out for that if you're going against them. And yeah, I'm going to try this M3 Lee again. Try to get there. Hit him again. Just try to get his weak spots. He is not looking at me currently. He is going for someone else, I think. And there we go. We took out another enemy just like that. I'm going to repair... I can't repair anything, but it says my driver is injured, so that's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, there was an SU-46 or something over here. Gonna try and get that. Yep, detected it again. Got its side. Very weak. I'm a light tank, so I'm gonna run quite a bit. And I can probably do circles around this guy. His, he has to turn his whole tank to actually get his turret to go anywhere. Uh, I'm quite low in hit points. Yep, I'm just doing circles around this guy. And take one more shot. Got the kill. I'm actually doing very good with this tank currently. Just dodged a shot from a Matilda. Probably can't penetrate that. So I'm not going to go there and risk it. I am just going to try and capture the base. Well, I'm not actually going to try and capture the base. I'm just going to lure them in kind of thing. There's only two enemy, well, two teammates on my team left, me and a Matilda. And yeah, we are gonna try and beat four players. There's two on the other team heading for me right now. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have much luck, to be honest. I think I played a pretty good match, if you ask me. Just died. And, yeah, guys, that wraps up the video. Sorry that I couldn't get that good footage on the PZ3. I will be reviewing the beautiful IS very soon. And also the PZ3 slash IV. I don't know what to expect with that. But, yeah, see you guys later. Peace. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.